I have been working in the Agile Scrum environment and we are trying to aim to have a high quality application with a reliable and bug free software in a practical way. Our Scrum team is totally 10 people. We have one Scrum master, one product owner, one business analyst, four developers and two testers in addition to our QA lead. I am doing the automation testing in the team. Our sprint takes two weeks as a fixed release cycle, actually, and we start our sprints every other Monday to have the general idea about what we are going to do about the software. We conduct several scrum ceremonies in every sprint. Now, let's talk about them. In this sprint planning meeting, we are trying to identify our goals and describing a set of meetings, artifacts, and roles. We pull user story and tasks from product backlog to the sprint backlog based on our team capacity. And also we can say that based on DOR, I mean, which stands for definition of readiness. Let's talk about our grooming meeting. It starts in the first day of each uh, sprint. All the scrum members join the meeting. Our product owner explains the user story to us and the user story is listed just under the product backlog and we as the team, dev team members estimate the point, points based on Fibonacci. Now let's come to the daily stand-up meeting. We hold it led by our Scrum Master at 9 a.m. every morning. As the dev team, we participate in the daily meeting. Also, our product owner and business analysts commonly join us, although it is not, op it is not mandatory, I mean it is optional for them. We are trying to increase our situational awareness by synchronizing ourselves as a team just before the starting the working day, I can say. So all of us briefly identify and provide the answers, the three questions like, what did you do yesterday? What will you do today? And do you have any impediments? But if any discussion is necessary, then we are scheduling another meeting. Since, why? Because since daily meeting is not a detailed status meeting and it's not for discussion. That's why it takes roughly 15 minutes. In our bootcamp, we are sometimes having three Amigos meeting with QA, developer and product owner to clarify the scope of the object project. So this kind of collaboration among us is just to make it possible to get on the same page and know what to expect in each stage of the product development. And we don't have a specific format for this three Amigos meeting, actually. So uh, we are holding or having that kind of meeting whenever we need it. We are having demo meeting led by Scrum Master at the end of each sprint. And commonly it takes one to two hours. And this is done especially for the client and stakeholder to show them our completed works. So the entire team, uh, entire, let me say, Scrum team participate in, the, in that. Everyone demonstrates the product increment. Sometimes business team or the client or stakeholder ask some questions to us and we answer, we, are, we answer them. Accepting or rejecting the works are just based on DOD criteria, which stands for definition of done. All the accepted works are the product increments and any uncompleted or reject, rejected work is going to be sent back to the product backlog again and then we go, we go over them in the next sprint. And finally, let's come to the retro meeting. We, we are conducting our retro meeting with all the team just at the end of each sprint for creating improvement opportunities. Uh, it is, so it is very important meeting for uh, feedback. I mean, for, for all the team and for, the, for our company. Our retro meeting is facilitated by our Scrum Master and uh, generally it takes about uh, one to one and a half hour, let me say. Everyone answers the questions like what went well, what went wrong and what we should do to improve our team's efficiency. So all together we talk, criticize and discuss discuss about the last sprint and if something is good and positive then we keep it to utilize the utilize for the upcoming uh, sprint and also we can say vice versa thank you